Today, I'm going to show you five essential exercises that promise to give you that chiseled aesthetic physique that will put your body in the top 1% of all men. Almost every guy I know wants to get jacked. I mean, who wouldn't want to have an impressive ripped body these days? In addition to your nutrition program, your training routine must also be sorted out. Getting jacked doesn't have to involve the use of big moves and highly advanced exercises. In fact, you can already get things done with just five exercises alone. These exercises are designed to build you a ton of muscle while torching calories. Will doing lat pulldowns help you get jacked? What about chin-ups? Can they get you closer to your goal? Keep watching until the very end and I'll share with you one exercise that completely transformed my body for the better with minimal effort. Number 1. Deadlift Ah, the classic deadlift. Of course, a muscle-building workout won't be complete without this oldie but goodie move. To those who are looking into packing some serious muscle and strength, the deadlift always has your back. What's amazing about the deadlift is that it's not just about strength, mastering it is a skill. It requires focus and technique. And because the deadlift targets almost every muscle group, it's an excellent move for activating the release of muscle-enhancing hormones like testosterone. Deadlift Muscles Worked All those muscle groups activated during a deadlift tell a lot about the exercise's comprehensive nature. The primary beneficiaries are the erector spinae muscles of the lower back, the glutes and hamstrings that drive hip extension, the core muscles that stabilize the spine, and the grip muscles that secure the weight. Overall, the coordination of these muscles promotes balanced development and muscular harmony. Deadlift How to Perform Number 1. Step up to the loaded barbell with your feet about shoulder width apart and your feet under the bar. Position your shins close to the bar or until they're touching the bar. Number 2. Push your butt back and hinge at the waist to bend down to grab the bar on either side of your legs using both hands with an overhand grip. Number 3. At this point, ensure that your hips are lower than your shoulders and squeeze your shoulder blades together to set your lats and flex your core. No looking up, just keep your neck in a neutral position. Number 4. Push your feet through the floor and pull the weight up, keeping the weight close to your body. Number 5. Squeeze your glutes at the top of the movement, but don't lean back. To achieve that chiseled chest and overall strong upper body, never forget the number 2. Bench Press Whenever guys want to show off their gym prowess, the bench press is often the top contender. Since your goal is to have a well-developed muscular body, I highly recommend you do this exercise. The bench press is one of those moves that utilize and produce strength and power at the same time. It demands great control, specifically when lifting the weight down and exploding on the way up. And personally speaking, nothing feels quite rewarding than when you're able to lift a heavy barbell off your chest. Bench Press Muscles Worked One of the perks of the bench press is its ability to engage major upper body muscle groups. The primary focus is your pectoral muscles, encouraging chest development and a well-defined look. Moreover, the anterior deltoids and triceps are recruited enough to make a comprehensive upper body workout that cultivates balanced growth and strength. Bench Press How to Perform Number 1. Lie back on a flat bench and hold a barbell in the rack above you with a shoulder width overhand grip. Number 2. Drive your feet into the floor to engage your quads and glutes, and clamp back your shoulder blades to shorten the barbell's path of travel. This way, it boosts neural drive to your chest, delts, and triceps. Number 3. From this position, inhale and lower the weight slowly until it skims the middle of your chest. Number 4. Focus your mind on activating your chest muscles and push the weight back to the starting position explosively as you inhale. That's one rep. Another push exercise that's a must-do if you want to get jacked is the overhead press, but more about this in a while. Number 3. Lat Pulldown The latissimus dorsi pulldown, better known as lat pulldown, is one of the most popular exercises for strengthening the back muscles. It's a stable move for strength training as well as an effective way to add muscle mass to the upper body. Aside from increasing the lat muscle group activity, the lat pulldown also boosts the biceps, improves the mid and upper back strength and stability, and promotes grip strength. This exercise is an open kinematic activity that utilizes a machine with an overhead bar to provide resistance to the back muscles. Lat pulldown muscles worked. One reason that gave lat pulldown an impressive track record is the fact that it uses an overhead pulling motion, effectively targeting several important muscles of the back, shoulders, and arms. 
The lats in particular are the primary beneficiaries of this exercise. They are the largest muscles in the back and are most prominent in individuals with a defined back. Lat pull down how to perform. Number one, grab the bar with your hands slightly wider than shoulder width apart with your palms facing away from you and knuckles pointing towards the ceiling. Number two, move your shoulder blades back and down to engage your upper back muscles. Number three, from this position, pull the bar down to your chest as you try to maintain a relatively straight back. Number four, you may lean back a little but don't use momentum by swinging your back towards the ground to help bring the weight down. Number five, once the weight is a couple of inches from the middle of your chest, squeeze your upper back muscles hard. And then with control, return the bar to the start position. Remember, the slower this eccentric part of the movement, the greater the activation of the muscles and the more they will grow. To prioritize your biceps this time, make sure to add this exercise to your program. Number four, chin up. A chin up is a compound exercise that works both the upper back and the biceps. It uses an underhand grip, unlike a pull up where it is done with an overhand grip. Chin ups are good for building the upper back and grip strength. They're even great for boosting one's cardiovascular fitness. But if there's one thing chin ups are most known for, it's the title of the killer biceps exercise. In fact, the chin up exercise can give the biceps curl a run for its money as far as bulking up the biceps goes. You can do chin ups in a multitude of ways. Chin up muscles worked. The benefits of chin ups lie in their ability to effectively recruit several muscle groups. The back takes center stage, ultimately contributing to that sought after V shaped look. Additionally, the biceps and shoulders are both vital participants in chin ups to further improve upper body development and symmetry. Chin up, how to perform. Number one, stand with your arms shoulder width apart and reach up to grab the overhead bar using an underhand grip, as in your palms facing toward you. Number two, squeeze your abdominal muscles to create tension throughout your body and more importantly, enhance the stability of your movements. Number three, pull yourself up from your stationary position until your chin is above the bar. Number four, keep your legs as still as possible and maintain a neutral position for your neck with your head facing forward. Number five, pause for a moment at the top and then slowly lower yourself back down. Force yourself to move slowly and with control during this part to maximize your gains from this exercise. Chin ups also challenge your abs and hence would make a good addition to an existing core workout. However, it's only to some extent compared to the lats and biceps. To focus more on training your abs, there are two exercises you must never overlook, but I'll tell you more about them in a bit. Number six, overhead press. The overhead press, albeit an old school exercise, but is undoubtedly still a powerhouse for upper body body development. Thus, if you're challenging yourself to get jacked, then this should be an essential part of your routine. It doesn't just help bulk up your shoulders and triceps, but also targets your upper chest to some degree. If bench press is all about revealing a chest that turns heads, then the overhead press is the one lift exercise that screams, other muscles need some TLC too. It can even improve your posture, thus enhancing your overall body aesthetics. Overhead press muscles worked. The overhead press is a big compound lift that targets your front delts and side delts, resulting in bigger and broader shoulders. Likewise, many other muscles are also worked hard enough to activate muscle growth, including your traps, abs, and triceps. Overhead press how to perform. Number one, stand with your feet shoulder width apart and hold a pair of dumbbells. Number two, squeeze your shoulder blades for mid-back tension and then tighten your abs and glutes. Number three, lift the weights to shoulder height with your palms facing forward and slightly toward each other. Number four, keep your elbows at a slight angle relative to your torso in the scapular plane and your forearms perpendicular to the ground. Furthermore, keep your abs engaged to prevent your rib cage from flaring out. Number five, press the weights straight up overhead as high as you can, all the while maintaining the posture you've established. Number six, finally, lower them back down with control. For those who hung on until the end, here's the bonus exercise I've promised. It's been such an awesome addition to my workout routine. The exercise is simple in terms of execution, yet has profoundly impacted my quest of getting jacked. So I'm sure it'd help you just as much as it did me. Number six, farmer's walk. Also known as the farmer's carry, this exercise is made to test your strength when lifting heavy gym equipment. It does this by conditioning several major groups in your body. It's a combination of different fitness variables including grip strength, balance, coordination, grade posture, and mobility, thus providing the ultimate body conditioning pack. In short, the farmer's walk has all the necessary boost any builder needs, even more so for people like you who want to get ripped and strong. Farmer's walk muscles worked. 
The Farmer's Walk engages a long list of muscle groups with the ultimate goal of building endurance, strength, and muscle mass. These muscles are the forearms and hands, biceps, triceps, abs, upper back and traps, lats, calves, glutes, hamstrings, and quads. Farmer's Walk – How to Perform Number 1. Start by selecting appropriately weighted dumbbells and placing them on the floor on either side of your body. Number 2. Reach down, bending at the hips and knees, and grasp the dumbbells in each hand. Deadlift them up by extending your hips and knees, keeping a neutral spine throughout. Number 3. Hold the dumbbells at your side with a firm grip. Stand tall, keeping your shoulders back and core tight. Number 4. Initiate the movement by walking forward at an even pace with your eyes focused straight ahead of you. Number 5. Complete the desired amount of steps. Come to a stop and place the dumbbells down while keeping a tight core and neutral spine. Number 6. Rest for 1-3 to three minutes and repeat until you reach your desired amount of sets. All those 5 exercises, including the farmer's walk, are what you'd ever need to get jacked. That being said, none of those can be considered a direct abdominal exercise, and a full body transformation won't be complete if you don't have washboard abs. So, make sure to watch this next video to get the results you want.